so today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about makeup products that are good for like oily skin or especially acne prone skin. That's my type of skin and if you guys remember I did my skincare routine not long ago and I talked about the products that I use and why I use them and why they're good for like acne prone skin and all of that. Um, but I mentioned in that video that I wanted to share some makeup products as well because I feel like that's really important. There's no point in like taking care of your skin um, with like skincare products um, but not worrying about those things when you are applying your makeup. And I know there are people who are even afraid to use makeup because they think it will break them out. Um, or sometimes people get stuck in a cycle where like they'll use makeup that breaks them out so then they use makeup to cover the breakouts and then it just, it's just an ongoing cycle. Um, so I'm going to share some products that I have been using for a while and that don't break me out and I'll explain to you why. So if you did watch my skincare routine video then you might remember that I spoke about non-comedogenic products and basically those are products that won't clog your pores. My dermatologist told me that I can use whatever I want as long as it's non-comedogenic because that's what will break me out if my pores are clogged. Um, so I, we were talking about skincare products when she mentioned this, but I was thinking about it and I'm like, what's the point of like taking care of my skin with all these skincare products, but then putting on a load of makeup and have that clog my pores? Um, obviously, if you clean it really well after, then sometimes you'll be okay, but I just feel like I break out so, so easily that I, f I just wanted to find makeup products that would, al would also help like to not clog my pores. And you might think that that's impossible, but it's not. So the first thing you put on your face, obviously, when starting your makeup is a primer. So I feel like that's the most important thing. And there actually are non-comedogenic primers. This is the one that I love. It's from Kors, and it's their pomegranate mattifying primer. And I also love that it's mattifying because I have oily skin. Um, and I actually did try one before this that was non-comedogenic. It was from Neutrogena. I don't remember. I think it was like Shine Control, the name, something like that. Um, but I didn't really like it because I felt like my skin felt a bit oily because it was just non-comedogenic. I don't know if it was supposed to be mattifying. I don't remember. Maybe it was, but I don't feel like it was on me. So this one is amazing. I really, really love it. I feel like ever since I started using this one, I haven't broken out. Like, it's really crazy, but it's that good. And I feel like once you have that good layer, like, protecting your skin, um, then you can kind of put whatever you want over that. Um, so I feel like the primer is the most important part. If you have acne-prone skin, I would steer clear of, like, pore-filling primers. I know they're amazing because, they like, your pores disappear and all of that. Um, but all of those really do clog your pores. That's what it does. It clogs them so that, like, the surface is smooth. And yes, it looks nice, but if you don't want to break out, then I would just not recommend using those. I tried a bunch of those before, and it was so bad for my skin. Um, so I would just recommend one like this. I, I mean, I would recommend this one in particular because I haven't tried that many other non-comedogenic ones. But I feel like as long as it's non-comedogenic, um, and it's like for your skin type, like this one is for oily skin, um, then it should be fine. But yeah, I really, really love this one, and I feel like this is the most important step when doing your makeup if you don't want to break out. So speaking of primers, I just wanted to mention like an eye primer, because I feel like if you have oily skin, then the shadows tend to crease a lot. So this is one that I really like. It's from Too Faced, and it's their Shadow Insurance, and it says that it's 24 plus hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I have never had an eyeshadow for more than 24 hours on, um, but I do feel like this primer is really good. Although to be honest, I don't use it that much just because usually when I'm using my concealer, I just use that on my eyelids and I feel like it works really well. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I use this kind of like on little dark spots or just I don't know, any area where I feel like it needs a bit more coverage, I use this. It's a bit of a thick concealer, um, but I do really, really love it. And what I also really love about it is that it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. I feel like for someone who has oily skin, this works really well. Like, I can use just this and not put powder on top, and I feel like it still looks fine. Although, I am, like, in love with powder, so I'll always put powder all over but I, if I wanted to, I could use this without putting powder on top. And yeah, I just think it looks really nice. It doesn't look greasy and it covers really, really well. And I don't know, for some reason, I just feel like it works really well as like a primer on my eyes. Because basically, it's like the color of my skin. It has good coverage. 
so it'll cover all like those little veins or anything like that and it also doesn't let my eyeshadow crease so if you have oily skin and even maybe you might even already own this try it as like an eye base because I feel like it works really really well so when it comes to foundation I feel like you have a ton of options especially if you've already put that primer that's kind of like protecting your skin from everything else you're putting on top but the one that I really love to use is this one right here and this is the L'Oreal true match foundation and it's actually not like a mattifying foundation which you might find weird because I have oily skin but I don't really like when my skin looks way too matte like I feel like a lot of mattifying foundations just make it look kind of flat and I don't know like almost like my skin's kind of dead looking um, so I prefer this one because I feel like it gives kind of like a glow but it's not greasy it doesn't look bad on my oily skin I feel like it works really well for all skin types and of course I go over it with like a powder so that helps as well like especially like in my t-zone but I do think it's a really, really great um, foundation, even if you have oily skin. Just don't forget to set it. And yeah, so if you're looking for something that has like that nice glow, then I would recommend this one. And this one has never broken me out. So I think it's a really, really great foundation. I've heard that the Maybelline like Matte and Poreless is also a really, really great one if you want like that matte look. Um, but I just, like as I said, I don't really like it. Um, and that one... You just can tell more that you have foundation on, whereas this one I feel looks a bit more natural. So if you have oily skin, then obviously powder is like a super, super important step. I would not skip powder if you have oily skin. Um, a lot of people don't understand why their like, makeup moves around so much, and a lot of the times it's because they haven't set it with the powder. And I cannot live with this little thing right here. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and when this came into my life, it changed everything like it's so amazing and there is a translucent one but I like to use the one that's like my skin color and this really does make like my skin matte wherever I want it because as I said I do like for it to have a little bit of a glow so I will use it like on my forehead down my nose right here not too far back because I still want like that glow right here on my cheeks um, and then on my chin because that's a really oily part and this is so good. These areas stay matte for so, so, so long. It's amazing. So if you have oily skin and you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. Especially because it's like three or four bucks. Depends on where you get it. But yeah, this is amazing. Like if you have oily skin, this is probably like the top product that I recommend to you. So that's pretty much it for like the actual makeup products I wanted to share. Um, I feel like everything else that you use, it doesn't really matter. Like bronzers and blushes and like eyeshadow although eyeshadow if you do have really oily eyelids then I would maybe say to stay away from like creamy eyeshadows although I use it sometimes and it's fine if like I have a good primer underneath um, but yeah so I feel like most of the other products it doesn't really matter what you use um, but I wanted to mention this and I use this as like a setting spray and this is MAC Fix Plus and the reason I wanted to mention this is because I feel like a lot of people with oily skin think they can't use this because it does make like your skin a bit more wet, a bit more glowy and people that have oily skin know that like you're kind of like always afraid that you're looking oily so they might stay away from this but I just wanted to mention it because I use it and I love it because I feel like it makes like my foundation look a bit more natural because I use a lot of powder I feel like it can look a bit cakey and once I spray this I just feel like it just looks 10 times better um, and it also makes my makeup last longer, so I really, really love it. So what I do is I spray it on, and then once it finishes drying, I will go back in with some powder on those areas that I just mentioned. With a light hand, like I don't want it to be too thick, obviously, but I would just go over it like right here, um, and then it looks great. Like I feel like that works perfectly. So if you've been wanting to use this but you think you can't, then I would say to try it this way. Like just put your powder then spray it and then once it's dry just apply your powder a little bit more on the areas where you want to get rid of that shine um, so yeah and then now I also just wanted to mention this which I mentioned in my skincare routine video but I just wanted to mention it again because I think it's really important um, when you remove your makeup you want to make sure that you're removing it with something that is non comedogenic and this bioderma like solution is like the hydrating one and this one happens to be non-comedogenic. The other ones aren't, but this one is. So I use this to remove my makeup. And if you want to see everything else that I use, then I will have my skincare routine video right here for you guys to watch. I'll also have the link in the description. 
but yeah I just think it's really important because if you take like all that time to make sure that everything like isn't clogging your pores you want to make sure that when you're like removing the makeup that you aren't clogging it either and then lastly I just also quickly wanted to mention this which technically goes into like skincare as well but I completely forgot to mention this in my skincare routine video so I thought I would just mention it quickly now and this is something that's also great to really remove that makeup and make sure that nothing is left in your pores um, it pretty much like has like this little silicone thing like full of little like bumps I guess and it vibrates so it really like gives you like that deep cleanse and so I think it's really really good to make sure that you're getting rid of all that makeup nothing is clogging your pores and yeah I just really really like it it's a bit pricey but I do think it's worth it like if you feel like you're doing everything you possibly can and you're still breaking out a little bit that might be because there are some things clogged in your pores that is just not coming out with you like going like that with your hands so I would recommend something like this and I would also recommend using like a like mask once in a while um, you know like the ones that are for also like a deep clean um, I do that about like once a week or at least I try sometimes like once every two weeks but it is good to use it um, to just really make sure that you're cleaning everything out from your pores so yeah I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys um, obviously I'm always trying new products if I come across new things that I feel like work really well for either oily skin or acne prone skin then I will do an updated version eventually but for now these are the products that I have been using and loving and I feel like they're working really really well as I said I haven't broken out in so long and I'm so happy about that I mean I do use like medication and stuff which if you want to know more about I spoke about that in my skincare routine video um, but yeah, I feel like I can use makeup like as much as I want now and it doesn't break me out, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!